Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly a lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some books, beauty, stationery, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. And if you haven't already, I just started a fun giveaway, so I will leave the link for that as well below. Today I have a new box for this channel, but it is definitely not new to you. It is the Pop Sugar Must Have Box for Spring. Now I have been watching this box for quite some time well before I started my channel but for the most part whenever I would see stuff that I liked I was too late they often used to sell out every season but that hasn't been the case for the last few quarters and I don't know what that says about their curation or just kind of the changing market or the different vendors that they're getting I do understand the hesitation though it is a pricier subscription it is $75 per season but if you're new to it I do have a link for you below where you can save $20 off of your first box now I saw some of the spoilers for this season and I actually thought that they were kind of fun or useful so I went ahead and got it and I'm very glad that I did because because it is so nice to be getting boxes, especially when you're stuck inside. And I hope that these videos that I'm still sharing with you are kind of helping you get through those long days at home. So inside of this big black box, there is kind of a brighter, more fun interior with some polka dots. It says, happiness delivered, pop sugar. And we've got all kinds of items. It looks like there is a nice product pamphlet here. And let me just flip through it really quickly. They do include the retail prices, which you know if you've watched my channel for any time that I absolutely appreciate, especially with the pricier boxes, especially with sort of the bigger companies. I think that's something nice to do for the subscribers so that you feel like you're really getting your value, getting your money's worth. So let's get right into it. So this is the first item that I am seeing. So let me flip to what I think it is in the pamphlet. Hmm, I just saw something that I didn't see in the spoilers and that it's very interesting. We'll have to see what we think about that when we get to it. Now this is the necklace by Bluma Project and I do appreciate they are one of the boxes that lets you customize some items. So you could get this kind of boho um, necklace in either a kind of pretty like dusty blue, I'll show it to you here, or you could get it in this like natural color. It does kind of look like a blush color, kind of like taupey. So I kind of agonized over which one because I I don't wear like a lot of blue so I felt like this more natural colored one might be easier to sort of accent um, different outfits but it is kind of like that like flesh color so I feel like if you were wearing it not directly on your or if you were wearing it directly on your skin it might not show up so You've also, if you've watched any of my videos, like seen me ask, I thought like tassels were like so two years ago, but I'm still seeing a lot of tassels out there. So this is fun though. I think it's pretty cute. It's like got these beads on it. It's in gold. There's like three layers, nice, fun, like boho statement piece. Um, you also know that I'm like terrible about putting on necklaces on camera. Plus this is kind of a springy like summery piece so I don't know that it's gonna like work on this particular um, shirt anyway but it is kind of nice because you can see that it like shows up nice if you have like a boat neck as well as if you had it just on your skin but I think it's actually kind of pretty I know I've seen a lot of comments where people were like ugliest necklace I've ever seen but I actually I kind of like it so you could get it this Luna necklace in sand which I guess is the color that I got or Lagoon it says this playful three-tiered tasseled and beaded necklace is the perfect pop for any outfit subscribers get to choose between two rich dusty colorways sand or Lagoon the brand works with a women's collective in India to craft beautiful jewelry while creating sustainable incomes for artisans made from soft acrylic thread and brass beads this necklace goes from choker length to as long as 20 inches around with an adjustable chain closure It'll be your new favorite go-to spring accessory. It says that the suggested retail on this is $75, so I would never really pay that much for this necklace. But I do think it's kind of fun. I like it. I don't have really anything like it at all in my collection. I usually have like kind of daintier pieces. I have a very limited statement necklace collection. So I like it. That was, it was one of the spoilers that I saw that I was actually kind of excited about. So let's keep going. So the next item I am seeing is this Omorovitsa uh, spray. I think it's a spray from Budapest. So let me see if I can turn to that. So this is the Omorovitsa Magic Moisture Mist and it is a suggested retail value of $95. So 
this is seeming like I'm appreciating that the fact that they're putting the retail values in, but they're retail values that I would never pay. But again, that's one of the great things about subscription boxes, right? So pretty nice packaging. So it looks, oh, it sounds like glass too. You can kind of see that there's like two layers, right? Because all of the good stuff is kind of in that top layer. So you would definitely have to shake well before use, which it even says right here on the side. So let's read about this. It says you'll feel totally rejuvenated by this liquid moisturizer that's powered by an innovative formula. It gives you weightless hydration that doesn't feel greasy or sticky. This mist has moisturizing strength strengthening and regenerative properties. All you do is spritz it on your face and you're good to go. It's perfect for travel or to throw in your purse to use throughout the day. You can never be glowing too much. It really is magical. So I know that we're like shifting into spring and summer. I think these like face sprays are a really popular thing. I feel like I've gotten a couple of them. Maybe I just feel that way because I know that I got a face spray in my Oceanista box that I just opened up, but I have a feeling this is not the end of them. Um, so would love some other fun products. Ooh, that smells really nice though. Ooh, like I like that. That's really, the scent is beautiful. It's light, it's fresh. Um, I don't know how much of it has to get on your face to actually like moisturize you, but this would be great on a hot sunny day when you're at the beach or I might just have to sit out on my deck and um, get some sun that way, get some, uh, get some rays. But I do like that, I think it's nice. I just, now I have so many of them, you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them. All right, so the next item. Okay, so this is cool. This is another customizable item. This was another spoiler and one of the reasons that I got it. This is the anti-blue light lenses. So I spend a lot of time in front of screens, and especially now, even more than usual. And I haven't actually invested in some blue light lenses. So I know that it is supposed to help your sleep, um, just supposed to help your eyes. Let's read a little bit about it. Not only are these glasses cute and on trend, but the lenses have also been shown to cut down blue light absorption by 30%, limiting the overexposure to blue light emitted from screens and indoor lighting around the clock. The design helps to prevent digital eye strain, which typically begins around the two hour mark of using those screens. I use screens well over two hours. Cutting out blue light can improve sleep and reduce eye strain. Subscribers get to choose between four chic styles. Being a four eyes never looked so good, and the retail value on these is 40 to $50, depending on what you chose. So there were these four styles and I struggled between choosing this like clear um, frame and then this kind of like a nerdy heavy black frame. And then uh, I actually went for the black frame because I thought it was kind of fun. Um, so nice packaging on this. Let's see if I can open it up. It looks like it, oh, it just easy. I was making it harder. I thought I had to open up the box, but it just opens. It says the book club on it and then it kind of opens like a book. So don't drop the glasses. So I used to actually think that it would be like kind of cool to wear glasses. I actually have really good vision. Um, just a little while ago, I actually went to the optometrist because I thought that maybe if I got glasses, my vision would be like that much better. And he just kind of like laughed at me and he was like, come back in a few years. <laughs> like your vision is perfect. I don't know what you're talking about, but I've always like wanted glasses because I feel like they make me like look smarter. <laughs> I don't know why. They definitely like make me look more like uh, like academic for sure. Um, inside, I do appreciate. We've got this nice little like sleeve and I don't see like a cleaning cloth, but this is a nice like box. You could actually just keep like on your desk so you have a little case for it. So we're gonna see what it looks like, you guys. So they're kind of, a, they're a little bit like narrow for my wide face, but what do you think? Do you think I look smarter? Do I look like a librarian? Do I look like a nerd? I'm definitely an, a nerd, you guys. I, I did a lot of school. I have a lot of degrees. I spent a lot of time in libraries. So I finally kind of got like my Plano lenses that I've always wanted, except they're actually gonna protect my eyes from blue light. So I'm stoked on those. I don't think they look too bad. I'd just be wearing them mostly at home anyway, right? You tell me. All right, you guys, let's keep going. The next thing I am seeing is another skincare item. It is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. We have also been getting a ton of like eye masks and eye creams. And um, you know, like the space around your eyes is so, so tiny. Like I feel like I'm never actually gonna get through all of them. So this is 
0.5 fluid ounces. Its suggested retail value is $42. So kind of funny thing about me, you guys. This is the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. I am one of the few very, very strange people in the world that does not like avocado. Now, I know I'm not going to eat this or anything, but um, for whatever reason, I just think it's kind of funny that they sent me something avocado says, did you know you can achieve beautiful skin in your sleep? We're all about products that work while we rest, and thanks to Glow Recipe, we can sit back while this one does its job. Glow Recipe is one of our editor's favorite clean skincare lines that is cruelty-free and fun. This eye sleeping mask is formulated with avocado, encapsulated retinol, and coffee berry to help brighten, depuff, and treat the appearance of dark circles. Unlike the avocados in your kitchen, this one will bring you joy for months. So let's see what we've got inside. It looks like I might need my scissors to slice it open nicely. I need to just have like an X-Acto knife so that I can slice stuff open better without like ruining the packaging if I decide to ever like pass these on to you guys in giveaways. So. I will be doing some other giveaways as we hit other subscriber goals. I have got like boxes and boxes full of stuff and I want to get it out to someone because I know that all these things have like expiration dates and I know that we could all use a little treat right now while we're stuck inside. So this is really cute packaging. I love this color. Um, I don't feel like avocados are actually this color, but look how cute it is. It's like this little, little guy. So I feel like that's honestly like the right size for an eye cream. Cause like I said, you a little dabble do ya. And you can kind of see it like moving around in there. So it's pretty liquidy for a cream. Um, sleeping masks though. So I guess you probably just put this on at night. Let me see what the directions say. It does say you can use it as an eye sleeping mask or as a daytime treatment. It does say also though, because it has retinol in it to remember to put SPF over if if that's the case, if you're using it during the day. It says after cleansing, apply a pea-sized amount to the entire orbital eye area and gently pat into skin using ring finger for optimal absorption. Apply nightly, do not layer with another eye cream. Use before serum step. So maybe I'll try that out. Like I said, I have so many eye creams, so it's just kind of kind of depend when I go into my little cupboard which one I reach for. Oh, it's cute. It's got this little um, it's got this little like spoon too, so you can swoop in. So I really appreciate that because any sort of um, product where you have to dip your finger in it kind of like grosses me out, uh, especially especially these days where we're trying to be super super hygienic and clean. So that's a cool item. Don't know if I'll use it, but. Maybe, we'll see. We're getting, kind of getting bored and doing all kinds of things, doing a lot of like self-care rituals we might not normally. This is weird because it feels like an eyeglass case, but it's super duper heavy. It's like got this like faux leather, which feels like faux leather and like a rose gold zipper. So whatever it is, I kind of like the, the container for it. This was definitely not in the spoilers. Um, and this is kind of weird. So this is from Smudge Wellness. It is a glow spell and it looks like we've got five different stones in here. We're so thrilled to be able to share Smudge Wellness with all of you. It's created the glow spell for our subscribers who want to feel their most beautiful from the inside out. The curated set of crystals is the perfect blend to help reset, recharge, and reconnect in a meaningful way. Crystals are believed to be helpful and beautiful tools in creating and reinforcing the intentions you want to set in your life. Each crystal is associated with different healing or cleansing properties that can enable certain qualities. The brand's mission is to help people understand that spiritual wellness doesn't have to be overwhelming. It can be simple and fun. I don't know about fun for your like spiritual wellness. Now it might surprise you. I know some of you know that I am a yoga instructor. So I definitely have friends who uh, have a lot of stones who believe in all of the different properties of them. So here is this one that's kind of fun and pretty. That looks like doesn't tell me what that little ball is. Um, this is another one. So that the stones that they have in that image don't seem to match up with what they actually provided in here. So here's another one. Keep going. There, I think we get a rose quartz one. There's like a little stand for that for that ball, so it can actually sit and not roll around your desk and onto the floor, which is what I'm currently very afraid of. And then like a little amethyst chunk. And then I don't think I actually got rose quartz unless it was supposed to be that um, big ball. And then I got this little gray one. So I'm gonna show you that image again. I was really hoping for like that giant chunky rose quartz piece because I think they look nice in plants. Um, so then inside here, we also have a 
tarot card. Well, it's not really a tarot card. It just says the star. And then on the back, it tells you a little bit about the different items, the rose quartz, sodalite, amethyst, rainbow fluorite, and polished agate. It has a mantra. Um, so like I was saying, there is a little like ritual that you can do. Um, I, while I am a yoga instructor, while I have many friends who like charge their crystals every full moon, I am not like really into what I consider sort of like new agey stuff. I'm like not really big into astrology, but, um, I think it's an odd choice for a very like mass market, uh, subscription box, especially when there are boxes that sort of cater to more, um, like more of that mystical spiritual lifestyle i mean i got like a smudge stick in my sershi box but that box is called the goddess box so that was kind of not um off brand this seems a little off brand to me and i see how it could be a little almost offensive to some people just because it is spirituality and that is such a personal thing but i also sort of believe that items i mean these are beautiful rocks i feel like whatever power you sort of um, associate with them or imbue them with is what's going to be your truth so people who believe that they have cleansing powers um energies that's what they're going to get out of them and then at the same time the people who are on the converse side really feel like this is sort of almost like a cult or like wrong I feel like they are giving, they are um, placing that much more power and energy in those items when really they're not that offensive. It's just they're rocks, they're pretty, take them for what they are, don't let them give you to have more power over you than they should in, in in either direction but that's just my personal opinion. If you love crystals, I, I like crystals, I think they're beautiful. Um, but. I wouldn't take too much offense. I do think it was an odd, odd choice though for this box. So, all right. And I think it's interesting too that that was not in the spoilers. And if it was, it was like one of the last things they revealed because I feel like they knew that sharing that with other people might turn people off from getting the box. So um, again, you're, all, you're definitely getting the value in the box. So don't let one item that you might not vibe with like deter you if you do like the other items. So let's see, the big item here in the back, I think I remember what this is, is um, I did pre-score it so that we could get into it quickly. I think this is some like housewares. I think this was another, like this was a little bit of a later spoiler, but I liked them. Um, this is the Shell Bisque cereal bowl set of four with a suggested retail value of $66. Now I don't think there were $66. This looks like something that you could pick up like at Target or you know Marshalls or whatever but I thought they were pretty and a nice size and also I just like to eat my food out of bowls so here is the first one in this kind of like robin egg blue and they're kind of like without the glaze on the bottom and then glazed on the inside and that top band and then they're all different colors so that's why I'm gonna actually open them up and share them with you so you can see how the set sort of complements each other and then we've got more of this like cornflower blue so that's really pretty i'm gonna make some noise <laughs> and then i'm just also throwing things on the ground which is always fun and then we've got this like almost like very very faint blush pink and then finally let's see i think this one's green no nope, no nope. it's, it's just like white I thought there was a green one, but maybe that's just the lighting that they used in their pictures. Of course, this one doesn't want to come out. So this one is just white. So like I said, I use a lot of bowls. I like to eat out of them. Um, I think they're good for portion control when you're like snacking. And I just thought these pretty pastels were really nice for spring. Um, and while I have very limited space in my kitchen, I think I can make some room like on the hutch because they're nice enough to be out. So I'm excited about those. Like I said, I wouldn't pay 66 bucks for them. But now pop sugar, I do know just from watching other unboxings and kind of following the box for a while, they usually have a separate section where there's additional items that companies are just sharing with you as promos. And it looks like we have some very timely things here from Clorox, these Sentiva disinfecting wipes. Wipes, so that is great and then it's nice because they actually seem to come with different scents so it's just not that super intense bleach scent in fact it says that these are bleach free which I would be kind of okay with a little bit of bleach these days so we've got Tahitian grapefruit splash we've got 
Tuscan lavender and jasmine, and finally some coconut. And then the last item in the box that I'm feeling is some blackberry apple cider digestive awakening tea, which you can always use some digestive health and help. What did you guys think about this box? I hope you are all having a great day and hopefully I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.